Hey y'all, the weather is getting colder and I've got a soup and bread bowl recipe to warm you up. Let's go. I love a good broccoli and cheddar soup and want to share this recipe with you. In a pot on medium high heat, add half a stick of unsalted butter and have it start to melt coating all over the bottom of the pot. To this, add half an onion, chopped, and two garlic cloves minced. While the butter is melting, mix in the onions and garlic until they have become translucent. Add salt and pepper to taste and mix. You can reduce the heat to medium to prevent any of the upcoming ingredients from burning. For the soup to have its thickness, we're gonna make a roux by adding half a cup of flour and stirring until it's cooked through with the butter, onion, and garlic mixture. Add one cup of heavy cream and continue to mix for a thick, creamy consistency. For the soup flavor, add two cups of chicken stock and again, keep stirring for a smooth consistency. I'm adding two cups of fresh broccoli, which I finely chopped using a food processor. It's more like a rice broccoli, and if you're using frozen broccoli, make sure to squeeze any excess water. Mix this well before adding in one and a half cups of finely shredded carrots. Both broccoli and carrots require ample coating of the liquid for it to soften up so you're not biting into crunchy pieces. Cover and simmer on low for 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes, uncover and mix to remove any thickness from the bottom of the pot. Working with heavy cream, you may have a tiny layer at the bottom, which can be taken out. Add one and a half cups of grated cheddar cheese and mix well to blend throughout the soup. I love a lot of cheese, but you can adjust the amount based on your liking. Last, add half a tablespoon of cayenne pepper and garlic powder and mix well. This is where you can also add additional salt and pepper seasoning if needed. Cover and simmer on low for 10 minutes or until the broccoli and carrots have softened. And there you have a delicious broccoli and cheddar soup, y'all. But let's take it to another level and make a bread bowl. In a large mixing bowl, add one packet of instant yeast along with one and one fourth cups of warm water and a tablespoon of sugar. whisk to incorporate all the ingredients. Use a towel and cover the yeast mix for five minutes and you'll begin to see the frothy, foamy reaction pretty quickly. Uncover and add one teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of oil of your choice. And I'm using a good olive oil. Whisk well before pouring in two cups of bread flour and one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Mix and knead the dough for seven to 10 minutes. I apologize y'all, I had a technical issue and the recording froze, but I formed a dough ball and then covered in a grease bowl for one hour. For the dough to rise faster, store in a warm spot. Uncover and use your fist to release any air from the puffed up dough. I then divided the dough into four sections to make four bread bowls. Roll into a tight dough ball and place onto a greased baking sheet. Mine didn't look too pretty, and I've seen dough balls that are a lot smoother than mine. But no worries, the bowl will still look and taste amazing after baking. Brush an egg wash on top and bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 17 to 20 minutes. Once the bread comes out of the oven, let it cool for about 10 minutes before we assemble them into bread bowls. To make the bowls, cut a small slice at the top and scoop out the bread from the inside. The bread bowl is ready and it's time to serve up the soup. And there you have a hot and delicious bread bowl of broccoli and cheddar soup, perfect for a cold or rainy day, or a cold and rainy day. <laughs> the bread bowl will soak up the soup, making each bite the perfect one. Comfort food at its best. Mmm, 
Enjoy. Thanks for watching everyone. And as always, cook with love, live to eat, and enjoy. Until next time. Aibo on.